the law of assumption is real and it's all your belief whatever you assume to be true will be and that will be your experience you can watch this video and assume that what i'm saying is bullshit that is your assumption so you're, you won't gain anything from this but if you're watching this video with intentions of being open and just trying it for yourself you will start to experience things that just feel like fucking magic like literally that's what it feels like <music> what's up guys it's your girl ashanda here if you're new thank you so much for watching on this channel we talk about manifestation mindset and fitness and most recently we're going to be talking about the law of assumption i just learned about the law of assumption a few days ago and it literally blows my mind what i learned and i'm already seeing things manifest in my life by using this law and i just wanted to share it and i wanted to share how you too can use this law to manifest whatever you want literally whatever you want so most recently we will be talking about the law of assumption it's a little bit different from the law of attraction and i feel like this law resonates a lot more with me than the law of attraction because i've been studying doing my homework and i feel like this is just something that i wanted to share with anyone that doesn't know what it is yet so i want to share how you can use this law to manifest whatever literally whatever it is that you desire in your life there's no limitations at all it's all about what you believe that you can have or not so let's jump right into this so basically what the law of assumption states is that whatever you assume to be true becomes your reality whether that is good or bad so if you take a look at your reality around you whatever you are seeing and experiencing is because you assume those things to be true whether you like it or not whether it's good or bad that's just what it is the law of assumption also states that whatever is your most dominant thought it is what's going to manifest in your life so if you're telling yourself you know something positive but subconsciously you're not feeling that to be true that is what manifests instead so we're going to talk about how we can use the law of assumption to get the things that we desire and get them a lot faster at that because that's what we deserve so with a law of attraction the difference between the law of attraction and the law of assumption is that the law of attraction teaches you that if you keep your thoughts pure that is what you'll um manifest and that is what you'll attract into your life and basically you have to work on yourself to be able to change those thoughts over time what the law of assumption teaches you is that whatever you assume to be true the most is what manifests into your life so we want to assume things that are not even existent in our life yet so that they can show up in our lives basically we want to just trick our brains into thinking that this has already happened so it has no choice but to show up into your reality nothing can exist in the physical world unless it were thought of first so whatever you're visualizing and desiring and seeing the most it is what's going to manifest into your reality that's just what it is that is the law that is the law of assumption so if you want to change your experience or change what you're seeing in your day-to-day -day life if you're not happy with what is going on if you're not happy with your income if you're not happy with your relationships whatever it is if there's something that you want and you've been wanting there are ways that you can get them quickly and i feel like we just complicate it as humans because we always are doubting ourselves the most so that is what we manifest and sometimes we don't even really realize it because we're holding on to a lot of things that we were taught and learned as kids so we're holding on to a lot of things in our subconscious and working on that really does help manifest things in your life a lot faster as well let's start rewriting the script let's start changing our lives let's start manifesting the things that we want and deserve in our lives by persisting that the things that we desire are already in our lives so that they have no choice but to manifest the law of assumption is real and it's all your belief whatever you assume to be true will be and that will be your experience you can watch this video and assume that what i'm saying is bullshit that is your assumption so you're, you won't gain anything from this but if you're watching this video with intentions of being open and just trying it for yourself you will start to experience things that just feel like fucking magic like literally that's what it feels like 
So let's start talking about how you can manifest anything that you want into your life using the law of assumption, no matter what it is. So first you can start by writing out your desire or your desires, whatever you know you want. I know that there's probably a lot of things that you want, but what you want to do is focus on one thing at a time. That would just make it a lot more powerful. You want to also come from a place of, I have, it is mine already and not I wish, I hope, I want. That is coming from a place of lack and that is why if you're having trouble manifesting, that's why you're having trouble manifesting because you're seeing it from a place of there's a possibility that this won't happen. So then there's always going to be a possibility that it's not going to happen. If you persist day to day to day to day that what you desire is yours already, it will come to you, period. It will come to you. It's your subconscious mind that has to catch up with your conscious thoughts. So the number one way you can manifest things into your life faster is by using affirmations. And you don't have to truly believe it at first. You just have to persist throughout the day that what it is you desire is already here. If it's money that you desire, you are going to tell yourself, I have this amount of money in my bank account and it feels so damn good to have it you can come up with affirmations you can look up affirmations but what you want to do is persist that this has taken place in my life and it feels good that it has and you want to embody the feeling that it gives you when you say those things you know what i'm saying take a minute to recite to yourself that what it is you desire is already in your life and it's already yours and close your eyes and visualize it being in your life see yourself experiencing that desire see it being here already and embody those feelings and live your life as if that has already taken place and watch how many things you see around you start opening up to bring that desire to you a lot faster I feel like it is your belief system that truly keeps your desires from showing up it is how you feel about yourself it is what you feel you are capable of doing and achieving and bringing about into your life we are all manifesting gods period so one way that you can powerfully manifest your desires a lot faster the technique that you can use is called sats and what that means is state akin to sleep so basically that is a state that you're in right before you go to sleep right between consciousness and unconsciousness so you're right in that middle realm so when you feel yourself about to fall asleep what you want to tell yourself is that your desire is already happening like i'm so happy i manifested five hundred dollars i'm so happy i manifested five hundred dollars five hundred dollars is in my bank account i'm just throwing anything out there whatever you believe whatever amount you believe that you can manifest whatever is not going to create resistance between you and that desire what you do is you affirm to yourself in that state that you're in whatever your desire is like grades money relationships whatever what you want to do is affirm to yourself that this thing has already happened how it's made you feel there are a lot of affirmations out there that you can use i'm sure you can pinch it somewhere you can come up with some on your own whatever is not going to create resistance whatever is going to come natural that is what you want to do you don't want any resistance resistance is what holds on to your manifestations you have to truly believe this you have to truly believe that your desire is already here it's kind of like acting in a way i love just like play acting so it doesn't it's it's nothing for me to just sit here and act like something's already manifested in my life and i can walk around my day-to-day -day life as if it's already happened and watch as things slowly manifest into my life and opportunities start manifesting into my life as well even something as small as me saying to myself in the mirror everyone thinks I'm so freaking gorgeous everyone thinks I'm so beautiful and just just staying in that feeling and I literally see people tell me all of the time that you know you know not even on anything vain but it makes me feel good as well you know because coming from having insecurities or whatever it feels good you know you just start to see how those little assumptions start showing up into your life it's fucking crazy whatever it is that you can visualize and see and like literally live out any experiences in your head it will manifest if you live in that feeling of what it feels like to have that if it's money you desire visualize yourself holding that money use your five senses what do you see when you're holding this money you know where are you what is around you while you're holding this money start putting things together in the background start living out that experience because when you do you embody those feelings and those feelings bring those manifestations into your life it is your visualizations that are your reality your 3d this physical reality that we're in 
honestly cannot be here if we didn't visualize it first or assume it to be true first. We have to remember that. I feel like if we step outside of ourselves for a little bit, outside of our bodies, and we really realize who and what we are, that's when we can truly start manifesting things that we really want into our life. Life is supposed to be fun and desirable. We are supposed to be here to live our best life, live whatever experience makes us the happiest, makes us the most peaceful, loving, and just spread that love and joy all around the world. That is what our life is supposed to be. And I feel like as humans, we kind of resist because of what we were taught growing up, because of what we still assume to be true that other people told us in the past. Letting go of your past is going to be your best friend and manifesting things into your life. Revise your subconscious thoughts. If you're persisting throughout the day that your desire is already here, it doesn't matter what the physical world is telling you. I think that's where we mess up with our manifestations is we look around and we're like, okay, it's not here. That doesn't matter. You have to keep persisting until it is here. I feel like we get so close to our manifestations and we just become impatient and then we assume, okay, it's never going to show up. So it doesn't. That's the law. Whatever you assume to be true is true. So we have to start changing our conversations and how we are looking at our realities. It doesn't matter what our 3D world is telling us. If you are seeing five figures in your bank account, five figures or more in your bank account, then that is what you're seeing in your bank account. And you persist that I have five figures or more in my bank account and it feels damn good. And you tell yourself that throughout out the day, in your head, in the mirror, however many times you need to so that you can keep embodying those feelings right before you fall asleep you tell yourself over and over i am a five figure making woman man whatever you know and you embody those feelings and when you wake up the next day your reality switches and you're in this reality of i'm a five figure motherfucker and you will start seeing five figure opportunities show up to your door the more you persist and the more you start to believe whatever your subconscious believes the most is what manifests so there you have it your subconscious can only bring about in your life what you assume it to be. It doesn't know anything except for what you tell it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you feel. So we have to separate ourselves from our minds for a little bit and train our minds to have healthier thoughts about our manifestations. Like I said, you do not have to believe it to be true right from the jump you don't you just have to keep persisting and keep persisting and then there will be a day where your subconscious will make that connection your subconscious will catch up with your conscious mind your physical world will catch up with what you are telling yourself your subconscious world your subconscious creates whatever you assume it to be true we have to keep remembering that the more we remember that the more we change how we look at the things that we want in life because if you can see it up here baby if you can visualize it if you can see it here it's already yours it's already yours stop telling yourself that it's too far away or that it's gonna take this x amount it's gonna take years it's gonna take this time it's gonna take that time fuck time time is not time is an illusion time is not even real time is man-made if you feel like it's gonna take four years guess what it's gonna take four years if you feel like it's gonna take two months it's gonna take two months it is all about where that resistance lies and whether you're gonna manifest your desires when you want to or not I'm going to stop this video right here and if this is something you guys want to continue to talk about more of because I'm telling you I love this topic like I'm going to keep you know manifesting and bringing things into my life and I want us all to do that now because this is something that's really exciting and it's a lot more reassuring especially for me and I feel like from for my life personally it makes me feel a lot more grounded in my desires than if I were using techniques of the law of attraction so like I said going forward on this channel we will be talking about the law of assumption as well as everything else fitness mindset and lifestyle so leave a comment if you guys like I said want to continue to talk about this if you want to know some techniques that you can use while you're practicing the law of assumption let me know because I feel like I've been working on my belief system for so long that I no longer have a lot of resistance, if any resistance, between the things that I know I deserve and the things that I desire most in life that is going to put me on that path 
to live my best life and help other people live theirs so like i said i'm gonna end this video here you know you guys like comment share and subscribe please we're gonna keep talking about this on this channel and i will see you guys in my next video